Hello, this is aerialmarket.co.uk Today we're talking about fitting an IO link on a Sky HD box. What's normally happened is you've had your Sky Plus or old Sky box replaced. You turn the television on in the bedroom, you no longer get your magic eye working and uh, you can't get the television in the kitchen working it's probably worked off the sky box the reason being on the new um, sky HD boxes you'll see there are no aerial connections these cables that have been left by the sky engineer normally connected to your aerial and to your sky magic eye system so what was produced combat this problem was a device called a IO link such as this. Now to fit an IO link I'm going to show you how it's done. So on these three cables you'll find that one of the cables was a aerial cable, one of the cables went to the TV air when I socket on the television and one of the cables went to your magic link in the bedroom or into the kitchen. Now basically you will not need the one cable that uh, went to the television because that is now redundant because you'll find that the Sky Engineer has fitted one of these. It's called a HDMI cable and this uh, now connects to the television and the signal from the Skybox goes to your television. This is where you get your HD programs from but still doesn't solve the problem of losing your magic eye. So um, let's show you actually how to connect an I.O. link. Now this is the I.O. link. First of all we'll hold it up. Now basically you see RF in, RF out. So basically RF in is your aerial cable in. Fits nicely into there. RF out is your link to your bedroom or to your uh, kitchen where your magic eye is uh, being used. Next thing to do is to plug the IO link into the sky box. Now I'm just going to remove the uh, HDMI cable and now you can see this little um, connection down here. If you look at it it actually says IO link on it this is where this part of the cable goes so you push and turn it not too tightly but it will only slot in to one of one way so basically I would say it's the flat part to the top so now you've pushed that in there and you've actually connected your aerial system that is your I I IO link actually connected go on to another part on how to actually turn the voltage on to make your IO link work and also to make the magic eye work because if you look at your magic eye there might not be any light on it due to the skybox not producing 9 volts so we're now going to show you how to um, use the menus of the skybox turn on the uh, 9 volts needed to work the IO link and your magic eye